almost came into this turn as hot as I would on <laughs> tires that aren't brand new. What a wonderful way to scrub in a new set of tires, right? Just take it on a long highway trip, standing upright. I'm just kidding. So yesterday when I was at the dealership getting the tires put on, I uh, did my normal routine where I just kind of browse the showroom floor and take a look at all the bikes. It's a uh, KTM, Honda, Benelli, and SSR dealership. So the big bikes that they mainly have that are brand new are their Hondas and their KTMs because Benelli only makes like a couple actually they only make one kind of big quote-unquote bike it's uh, a TNT 600 and then they have like a TNT 300 but they don't usually carry those on the showroom floor you usually order them and they come in but anyways so I was checking out all the Hondas and uh, all the KTMs and over in uh, one showroom, they have mostly their Hondas and like a couple KTMs. And in the other showroom, kind of across the parking lot, they have nothing but KTMs. And so I was in the showroom that has kind of the mixed group in it. Uh, all the Hondas, a little bit of KTM, and the used bikes. So on the showroom floor, they had a used 20, I think it was a 2014 or a 2015 Super Duke 1290. And... You know, it's a little bit older, but it only had 12 and a half thousand miles on it. And when I tell you guys this, I'm not kidding. Like, I thought it was a brand new one at first from the side, and then I saw the headlight, and I was like, oh, it's an older one. Uh, and the instrumentation panel kind of let that, you know, be known as well, because the instrumentation panel is not a TFT yet on these ones. It's still nice, but it's not a TFT. So I walk up to it, and I'm like, man, this thing is clean. Like, it has 12 and a half thousand miles on it. It's like five or six years old. And I mean, just showroom immaculate condition. It was incredible. Like, and then I, I go online and I'm looking for the sale price of the bike just out of curiosity. And they're letting this thing go for, I kid you not, like 7999 or something like that. To put that in perspective, a brand new 1290 Super Duke right now, they're usually about 15,000, somewhere around there, I believe maybe 14,000 and that's just for kind of a basic you know entry model because you can get a couple little options on them you're talking about almost half the cost of a brand new one on a bike that looks factory new doesn't have too bad a mileage on it it's only twelve and a half thousand miles and I mean it looks like the owner took really good care of this thing and loved it because I mean just showroom immaculate if there's ever been a time where I was just like, I would <laughs> I would risk it all right now. It would have been to get on that motorcycle. I mean, just a beautiful piece of art. I was so surprised by it. I mean, it's an older model, but they still look so good. Also, while I was in there, they had a uh, brand new, I think it was a 2019, uh, Super Duke GT. And the GT kind of comes with like, you know, bigger panels. Uh, the fairings are wider in the front to give you more wind protection. Uh, it's got a much larger seating area, a different seat. It has a electronically adjustable windscreen in the front, which is really cool. Uh, it's almost like having a sport version of an Adventure Duke, if that makes sense. So you kind of get all these features that you get on the Adventure Duke, per se, but you get it in this sporty grand touring package and I threw a leg over that thing too and I mean when I talk about this thing being comfortable it was comfortable man the GT had like almost the exact same seating position as the 390 that I'm sitting on right now but it was just a bigger scale like I felt like I fit on it like super well problem with a GT is those things are like 20 grand um Cause that's like a bike that you're you're made to own for a long time and kind of tour on but you still get that sweet 1290 engine so you get all the power and all the fun of like having a super duke r but you get it in this comfortable touring package that you can just ride on for miles and miles and miles and go the distance i'm pretty sure the gas i mean the gas tank on it looks huge i'm sure it has a good capacity in it so it's made to go a much longer distance than the regular uh super duke as well but these KTMs are just beautiful machines. And if I could buy one like brand new that is much bigger and 
sportier than the 390 I totally would not that I'm discontent with my 390 I love my 390 don't get me wrong if anything when I buy another motorcycle and I get either another KTM which I'm sure that's what it's gonna be the Duke 390 will stay in the stable and it will just kind of become my work commuter yeah I see no reason why I would need to get rid of the 390 unless it was giving me problems but I mean this thing's gonna rack up some miles over the next couple years so Unless something drastically changes in my life, you know, uh, as far as financially or opportunity, this and that and the other. The whole reason I bought the 390 was because it was within my budget and I could have it without financing. Because financing just wasn't something I wanted to do right now at all. So to be able to buy a bike in cash and own the title, you know, the titles in my safe area, in my house, you know. It's a, it's a great feeling to own something and, you know, if I ever want to sell it or I want to trade it in, you know, I get all the money for it. I don't have to worry about any kind of negative equity and all that good stuff. So it's just a nice feeling owning something. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm at work now. I'm going to go in get some work done. I might make another video on the way home uh, if I can figure out some stuff to talk about. If I take the back roads home, I might go ahead and make the uh, counter steering kind of how-to video and why it's important. Uh, if not, I'll definitely get that one done this weekend most likely if I go out on a group ride. So until the next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.